So how to do a time lapse in Final Cut Pro X. So first thing you need to create a sequence just right here. If you don't know how to create the sequence, I can explain you how to do it in the upper right corner. And then you're going to bring up your uh, pictures. Uh, here I got five time lapse that I did this week. Uh, so let's go with the time lapse number four. Here I've got 200, 203 pictures. Uh, we're going to select them all. So click on one and do common A to select them all. And then you're going to select the first one at the top and you're going to drag it on your timeline. Just like that. So you probably already tried this step. Uh, the problem here is that all of your pictures do four seconds long. So if you click on one of them, you can see that it uh, duration is four seconds, which is oh, very, very, very too long uh, to create a time lapse. When you do a time lapse, you want that all of your pictures last for one frame. Uh, and there is absolutely no way to import it in Final Cut Pro X so that all of your picture that you import, import uh, last for one frame. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to select all uh, the pictures. So again, we're going to do common A and we're going to create a compound clip that we do with option G. And here we can uh, give it a name. So we're going to say time lapse. OK, and what the what what, what it's done, uh, it's that it create uh, like a folder or like a new video file that contain all of your picture. If we double click on that compound clip, uh, you see the logo here. That means it's a compound clip. So if I double click on it, I can see what's inside this compound clip. And we can go back to uh, our our main uh, uh, timeline uh, with that arrow. So now we can see that because we have uh, 203 pictures that last for four seconds, we got a video file that lasts for 13 hours and 32 minutes. That's not what we want. Uh, so now we're going to accelerate this compound clip. And there is one thing very important to know. Uh, actually, I work on a 30 frame per seconds project. There is two uh, most used standard. Uh, there is the 24 frame per seconds and there is and there is the 30 frame per seconds. Uh, you can know that uh, if you advance on your timeline, as you can see the time here, that's the minute, that's the seconds and that's the frame. So that's frame 20 of the seconds. 41. So if I continue, I will go up to 29 before going back to zero. So zero to 29, that makes 30 frame. Uh, otherwise, you can go up to 23. And then you would go uh, back to zero. Uh, you can also know that uh, if you if you come on your project file just right here, and you will see right here, uh, just beside the resolution, you, you see it says 29 that 97 P. Uh, that makes 30 frame per second. Um, all right, so uh, because all of the pictures inside that folder last for four seconds, uh, if we do four seconds multiplied by 30 frames, that made uh, that makes that every picture lasts for 120 frame. So uh, we want to accelerate it. Uh, so we're going to do, sorry, it's common R. And we're going to press on the arrow just right here. We're going to do a custom and we're going to accelerate from 12,000 uh, percent. If you were on uh, 24, for frame per seconds project that would be four multiply multiply by 24 that base uh, 96 so that would be uh, 9600 instead of 12,000 all right so we accelerate it and there we are we got now a 6.23 seconds time lapse so we can already play it. Now, maybe you don't like that framing. So we're going to select the first image of the shot. 
we can uh, scale it up to maybe 136, create a keyframe and go at the very last frame and go at 127. And there you are, you got your time lapse. Now it's time to export it. If you don't know how to do it, there is a video in the upper right corner. I will explain you how to do it. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any question, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe. And what you do see back there, it's from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya!